now that I've got my warm-up regulator repaired, it's time to make sure this thing works and it's time to make sure my control pressure is within spec based on the given temperature. In my case, it is 72 degrees. That means the control pressure should be roughly 33, 34 PSI. The lower the pressure, the richer the mixture. As the warm-up regulator reaches operating temperature, I should see a rise on my control pressure um, to roughly 50 PSI, uh, could go 55 PSI. Uh, the information given to me says um, at operating temperature, it's right at 50 PSI. Another spot in the manual also says 55, so between 50 and 55, I'm going to go with it. All right, let's turn on the fuel pressure. The warm-up regulator is right at 72 degrees. The control pressure is um, 30, 30, 31 PSI. It's not too bad. Now let's apply voltage to the warm-up regulator. This usually takes a minute or two, not much more than that. Uh, I want to see the uh, control pressure stop right around 50, 52, somewhere in there. That will simulate uh, the engine being um, fully warmed up, ready to go. there I don't expect it to rise much more looks like it's peaked out at pretty much 50 Now that I've confirmed that the warm-up regulator is working, it's time to see how it responds to manifold vacuum. So I'm going to simulate normal engine running operation. All right, got good vacuum. And let's say we step on the throttle and you're gonna have a drop in manifold vacuum. That should result in a spike um, of enrichment, or in my case, the vacuum should go down momentarily and then right back up. All right, just like that. So, vacuum enrichment is working. <laughs> 